think you should ask Saakir. I'm, I'm just stretching my neck, guys. I'm just Aksa. stretching my neck. Please, please continue. I'll make her do. Shweta is Satya Adi Hari. No, I've never seen embarrassing lies. Have you seen? Look, look, I've seen the right. No. So hi everybody, this is Mahima, and today we have with us the comedy couple Saakir Salim and Shweta Basu Prasad. Hi Mahima. Hello Mahima, what's happening? How are you? How are you guys doing? And congratulations on the success of your trailer. Thank, Thank you so much. But we would well. uh, want the film to be also successful and not get happy with the success of the trailer. But thank you for liking it. Means a it's lot. It's going to be a blast, definitely. It's going to be so different. Yes, that's the uniqueness of the film. The idea of the film of two people doing stand-up comedy together on stage, and they also happen to be in a relationship, and they stay together, mm-hmm. and they on stage together, and how their off stage life and on stage life gets. intertwined with one another and what happens is what the film is about i think it's a very fresh idea it's a fresh concept it's it's a very fresh pairing if i can say that between me and shweta we working together for the first time and it's really really nice and heartwarming when people say nice things when they see trailers ki are tumhari chemistry kitni achhi lag rahi hai are the jokes are so funny it's looking visually so nice oh that song in the trailer is nice so yes it's a great feeling but i hope when the film also comes out now on the 21st of october when it comes out people should uh, carry forward this sentiment and they also yeah. really like the film so talk about your characters first of all zoya batra and deep sharma they are very different people they come from very different families i mean as far as we can see so tell us something about your character something you really like about them starting with zoya all right Thank you, Mahima. Yes, uh, the, uh, Zoya and Deepa are very different. They do come from very different family backgrounds and different worlds altogether. Um, when I read the script, I completely uh, loved the idea, the premise of it, because we never really see um, any story. We had no reference to any story where it's a fiction story, and the central piece is the protagonist was stand-up comedians, which was very exciting, very very intriguing. And as an artist, I think it's very um exciting to explore different jobs and different lifestyles through your characters because you end up exploring so much about yourself through that like i discovered i don't have a sense of humor uh after i did comedy <laughs> couple at all so i don't know jokes apart um i um, have this exercise that i do with oh i thought my... that was the truth so. <laughs> that was a, no, no that's a joke see, that okay. was a good okay. one check you both <laughs> Um, I have this exercise uh, that I do with all my characters, where I, where is uh, I write a backstory of where was this character born, how did she grow up, who were her friends, what were her formative years. So for Zoya, I wrote about a three-page word document backstory. I do it with all my characters, wow. and I shared it with my director Nachiket Saman, the creative team, with Sakib as well. And it's nothing to do with the script or my performance, but it just gives me an idea, a rough sketch, a skeleton of. the character and then you keep building on set because the director mm. would give a different uh, instruction story the vibe on set the props the costume your co stars being one of the biggest uh, energies that rub on you as actors uh, that's sake when me for each other here so uh, yeah that's that and i mean as an audience obviously i've seen stand up uh, over the years right i mean since school from aib to Biswa Kalyan to Zakir Khan to Aditi Mittal, we have been watching Russell Peters. We have been watching over the years, but uh, right before the shoot, I stopped watching stand-up comedy completely because I didn't want it to influence my performance. I didn't want yeah. people to watch comedy couple and think, okay, Zoya reminds me of this. You know, ye mannerism yah se utaya, ye voice yah se utaya hai. This holding of mic or dealing with the prop was from somewhere else. I completely cut the cord there. that was my prep and so yeah but no what shweta shweta said is absolutely right you have to prepare for your for your characters but at one point you have to leave everything and let let your body take over with all the understanding that you've built around the character you want your skill set to kick in and start doing things without really uh, wanting to follow anybody when it comes to deep sharma deep sharma is this guy from up billari he comes from a family where his uh, parents have really struggled 
to give him education and he's gotten educated now he's an engineer he's left that job of his and he's lied to his parents about that and now he's a stand up comic uh, so i i found it interesting that this boy did come from up and billari but now he stays in gurgaon he he stays in with his girlfriend and the the billari in him left behind and he's trying to move forward in this in this little uh, love nest that he is created with his girlfriend with zoya so i found it very interesting uh, what what i really liked about the character was the fact that this character was very relatable uh, this is every guy let me tell you uh, mahima how deep is is how every guy thinks and how every guy deals with every situation uh, he's a bit of a liar but he doesn't lie to hurt or cheat anybody he lies because he thinks that is the only way out of the situation and that will help him uh, get out of any sort of trouble so really relatable uh, great dialogues a lot of fun and like uh, shweta said uh, great co stars on the film who uh, helped me especially to uh, to be the deep sharma i wanted to be because i think uh, if people like deep sharma it is because of zoya batra because of my father because of my director because of other characters because that's how a comedy film works you have to be in sync with one another in a comedy film yeah the the energy on set you know when you're making a comedy film it's the energy on the set that drives you and uh, we had a blast making this film we were cracking up we were pulling each other's leg we were laughing at one another we laughing with one another we actually really hung out because because we were about 45 50 people shooting this film together and we realized that uh, uh there is no outside uh, there are no outside people we can meet and this is our bubble we have to stay within this bubble and we were all staying together so we got to hang out with one another every day and get to know each other and i think uh, the relationships we formed off set really helped us in creating our characters on set there was a ease with which everybody came on set and i also i feel like that's because of the fact that everybody was walking out of a pandemic and coming onto this film shoot so the people hadn't worked for a while and there were there was a lot of good intent in people to do work and to do quality work and i think all those energies put together has made the film what it is so is there is there any one thing that happened that like left all of you in splits during the shooting or maybe when you guys were just hanging out was there something really really funny that you're going to remember like forever no just the moments you know you know in life you you can't be like are wo dialogue kitna funny tha hamesha aise hota yaar wo time kitna sahi tha us time kitne maze aaye the na hum wahan gaye the humne khana khaya tha phir usne wo kiya tha so we have a lot of stories like that because we really hung out together we would uh, we would be hanging together if we had no shoot the next day till 5 6 in the morning just hanging out talking uh, eating biryani uh, shweta used to cook she had made uh, food for us she had a little kitchenette in a in a hotel room so she used to cook for us she made halwa for us one day so it just it just the fact that some people got together and really bonded and made this film together that's how it all happened just talk about all the food has just left me drooling moving on <laughs> we were in delhi we were in food heaven we were getting the best chola bhaturas the best mutton the best chicken in the world lucky yeah baki sab ghar pe baithe hue the bahar nikal payenge so like shweta had cut the cord were you inspired by somebody or did you also stop watching any uh, stand up acts and everything i tried to not watch as much stand up comedy but I wasn't watching stand up comedy to prepare I was watching stand up comedy to enjoy I really like stand up comedy so I watch a lot of it but uh, I didn't try to make deep sharma like anybody because I didn't want people to be like oh that's a bit of zakir khan oh that's a bit of kanan gil that's a bit of gorav kapoor I didn't want people to think like that what I what I realized after watching stand up comics for a really long time now is that all of them are great storytellers so i had to work on my storytelling technique how do i tell a story how do i land a joke and where to take a pause and when not to take a pause when to acknowledge your partner on stage when to acknowledge the crowd so i had to work on those things 
and I realized that I had to just go out there and have fun. So, like uh, during the trailer launch, Sakib had said that Deep is Sakib. I mean, you already said that he is a very relatable character, <laughs> but you said Deep is Sakib. So, hmm. is is Zoya also a little bit like Shweta? Not at all. Uh, and some places, I mean, uh, you know, every character <laughs> that you put. <laughs> I think you should ask Sakib. I- I'm just stretching my neck, guys. I'm just Achha. stretching my neck. Please, please continue. I'll make her do. So, see, every character that you play, I mean, you'll obviously find something similar. She's a girl. I mean, Zoya is a girl who's grown up in a metro city. Like, I have grown up in Mumbai. And uh, her parents are separated. My parents are separated. So, there are things that I relate. And then there are things that you completely imagine and build on. So I think barring one or two things, there is nothing that I relate um, uh, to with Zoya. Uh, But at the same time, you have to personalize the characters. You have to make it your own. Uh, For example, like there are things that I did improvise, you know, as in when we were in the take for the workshops and readings, there were a lot of uh, things that I would make a... You know, if you see my script, it's like a rough book. But choke school ke rough book ni hote waise hai mere team. So I keep writing down a lot of things, and that I think would work well for Zoya. Like for instance, uh, her mother, who's played by Pooja Baby, lives in Paris. So I thought Zoya must have visited her, and so I do speak French. Like I do throw a phrase of French here and there uh, as Zoya because I had studied French in school and I had that advantage. So, uh, relate to her as a character, no, but I think just like any other character, just like my characters in Serious Men or High or any film that I've done or Tashkin Files, you end up personalizing it, imagining it as your own and uh, add things to it. I also use a lot of my personal costumes and props just to, you know, get that sense of personal touch into the characters. But that's about it. I think what's challenging is when character is not like you and to become that. And I think that is the beauty of it. Wonderful. So, in one of the clips, Sakib has said ki bas yaar, aaj ke baad nahi bolna, ab to sirf sachi bolunga. Has this ever happened with any of you that you've said such an embarrassing lie or you've been caught red-handed when you've thought ki bas yaar, aaj ke baad to main sirf sachi bolunga? Sakib, starting with you. I don't want to say anything, yaar. I'm a very honest person. मैं मैं झूठ बोलता ही नहीं हूं मेरे साथ हुई है कुछ चीजें ना बचपन में कि मेरे रिलेटेबिलिटी है मैं शायद एक टाइम पे जरूर दीप था बट प्रेजेंटली मैं दीप नहीं हूं एक टाइम पे आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी गोस थ्रू दैट फेज आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई वाज इन स्कूल आई वाज नॉट अ वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट आई वाज एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट तो हर मंडे को हमारे यूनिट टेस्ट होते थे तो मैंने अपनी मम्मी को झूठ बता दिया कि इस बार इस टर्म के यूनिट टेस्ट सारे कैंसिल हो गए बिकॉज संडे को मुझे हमेशा खेलने जाना होता था और मंडे को क्योंकि टेस्ट होता था मम्मी संडे को हमेशा पढ़वाती तो अब एग्जाम्स हुए तो उनमें मेरे नंबर अच्छे नहीं आए बिल्कुल भी अच्छे नहीं आए मतलब नंबर ही नहीं आए समझते हो ना जब नंबर नहीं आते तो कितने होते हैं आधा जीरो ऐसा तो अब वो सब हो गया एंड एवरी टाइम वी टू साइन द यूनिट टेस्ट पेपर एंड गिव इट बैक सो आई साइन फॉर माय मदर ऑन दोस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स एंड आई रिटर्न इट टिल माय मदर गॉट टू नो एंड आई स्टार्टेड बिहेविंग टिल टुडे आई हैव नॉट एक्सेप्टेड द फैक्ट दैट आई हैव साइन दोज क्वेश्चन दोज आंसर शीट्स इफ माय मदर सीज दिस दिस विल बी एन एडमिशन टू द फैक्ट दैट आई डिड हेलो आंटी हाउ आर यू आंटी हाय आंटी पता नहीं किसके मम्मी आपने आपका साइन नहीं है कह रहे मम्मी माय मदर्स लाइक बेटा साइन छोड़ो ये यूनिट टेस्ट हुए कब तुमने तो बोला सब कैंसिल हो चुका है तो ऐसे ऐसे झूठ बोले मैंने लाइफ में तो इसलिए मुझे लगता है अब झूठ बोलना थोड़ा कम कर देना चाहिए लाइफ में बच्चा बच्चा बीबा मुंडा Shweta, what about you? Have you ever said any embarrassing lie where you got caught? Shweta is a true story. No, I didn't say any embarrassing lies. Did you see? Did you see? No. 
<laughs> नहीं मैंने ऐसे झूठे ही बोले कि इतने एम्बेसिंग हुए कि भाई झूठ ही नहीं बोलना है इसके बाद कभी आई थिंक हार्मलेस व्हाइट लाइज हम सारे बोलते हैं uh, वैसे भी मुझे ऑनेस्टली याद नहीं मैंने लास्ट टाइम वो झूठ भी कब बोला होगा कि व्हाइट लाइज टाइप के जो होते हैं जो दोस्तों को बोलते हैं कि यार दोस्त बोलता है तू घर पर है फ्री है मिलना है क्या एंड यू से नहीं यार आज मैं बिजी हूँ बट एक्चुअली यूर जस्ट चिलिंग एट होम So I don't know if you count that as a lie or an excuse, but something like that. But no, I prefer being transparent. Oh, last time uh, when I called you and I wanted to meet you, oh, you lied. Hey, no, I was shooting. No, no, no. You, you liar. You, you know who my co-star is. Thanks, uh, Mahima. <laughs> call him Thanks, up and Mahima. ask him. Thanks, Mahima. Through this interview, I have realized that Shweta is a very big liar. ये बहुत एक हम बहुत एक पारिवारिक फिल्म है वी ट्राई एंड कीप दी टूगेदर वाइल मेकिंग पारिवारिक फिल्म है नजर ना लग जाए सो ड्यूरिंग द शूट वाज देयर एवर अ टाइम व्हेन यू वर गिवन वन पर्टिकुलर डायलॉग बट यू सडनली जस्ट केम अप विद समथिंग न्यू ऑन योर ओन बिकॉज़ आई एम श्योर फ्लो काफी अच्छा रहा होगा सारे ऐसे हंसी मजाक वाला ऑल द कॉमेडी इज प्रीटी सीरियस ऑल द टाइम ऑल द टाइम ऑल द टाइम सो आई गिव द राइटर्स देयर ड्यू दे हैव रिटन अ ब्यूटीफुल स्क्रिप्ट बट वेन एक्टर्स परफॉर्म ना महिमा दे सर्टन आपकी जबान पे ना बहुत एक एक लैंग्वेज सेट होती है एंड वेन यू प्ले कैरेक्टर्स विच आर अर्बन यू कैन प्ले अराउंड विद दैट लैंग्वेज इन लिटिल सो आई आई थिंक वी बोथ ऑफ अस एंड एवरीबडी एल्स ऑन द फिल्म डिड रियली इम्प्रोवाइज बट वी ट्राई टू स्टे इन द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द फिल्म वी नेवर वेंट आउट ऑफ द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द फिल्म बट आफ्टर यू वॉच द फिल्म ना आई टेल यू विच बिट्स वर इम्प्रोवाइज and which weren't abhi without watching the film how can i tell you no, ki wo wala scene humne improvise kiya abhi to aapne dekha hi nahi hai aap dekhna 21st october ko z5 premium pe aur fir hum ek aur interview karenge jisme main aapko bataunga ki kaun si cheez improvise thi aur kaun si nahi done i'll Correct? put you to it i am i am provised i am provided sorry ignore ऐसे जोक नहीं है हमारी पिक्चर में ठीक है हम थोड़ा घबरा गए थे प्लीज वॉच कॉमेडी कपल ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर फॉर बेटर जोक्स प्लीज वॉच आस फॉर बेटर जोक्स so before we take your leave one one final thing that we want from you hum aapka trailer dekh chuke hain hum chote chote clips dekh chuke hain but i'm sure stand up karte karte aapne kafi jokes bhi on the spot बनाने सीख ही लिए होंगे सो इफ वी कुड जस्ट सी अ स्मॉल प्रीव्यू ऑफ दैट एक बैट्समैन एक फास्ट बोलर को क्या बोलता है बताओ क्या बोलता है बोल न हल्के बोल न हल्के हल्के रूप से हल्के हल्के ओ बोल ना हल्के प्लीज वॉच कॉमेडी कपल ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर ओनली ऑन जी फाइव फॉर बेटर जोक्स महिमा प्लीज वर्क ऑन योर सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर महिमा प्लीज वर्क ऑन योर सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर Don't be jealous of people liking my jokes. I'm more funnier than you, <laughs> Zoya Batra. Shweta, तो बोल ही चुकी हैं कि उनका sense of humour थोड़ा अच्छा नहीं है. Fine, I'll see you at, uh, in the battlefield. तो पहले ही accept कर लिया ऐसी चीजें मैं पहले ही accept करके बच जाती हूँ. So honestly, it's going to be great fun because <laughs> आप हो तो वैसे comedy couple, लेकिन आज के interview में आप कभी comedy friends लग रहे हो, कभी comedy siblings भी लगे हो. It's going to be so much fun. I'm sure about that. See, such great actors. I mean, such great actors. No, you can't play. Oh, 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 o
thank you so much Lovely. sakit thank you so much weather it was a great yeah. chat and all the very best for comedy couple it's going to be amazing <laughs>